Missionary Flights International, or MFI for short, was established in 1964 to transport affiliated missionaries and their cargo to and from the countries of Haiti, the Dominican Republic, and the Bahamas. I was in an explosion and I was burned from head to foot and MFI flew uh, 911 in here and uh, flew me back to the States for medical care. So uh, I, don't, <laughs> I don't even know if I'd be here if it wasn't for MFI, okay? Uh, we just, uh, we, we really owe MFI our existence here. Every Monday morning, Missionary Flights International begins with prayer as well as a short devotional time. The MFI office staff handles booking and processing passengers, financial accounting, donation records, as well as compliance with federal regulations. As the flight planning progresses, passenger and baggage information is sent to the operations staff. Cargo loads and passengers must be organized efficiently to ensure proper weight and balances. Every day, delivery trucks arrive at the MFI receiving door. Once the cargo is weighed and the contents determined, the information must be typed into the computer and later printed off as a cargo manifest for the flight. Dedicated volunteers come to the hangar every day to sort the cargo and the mail. Once the cargo and mail have been accounted for, the loading begins. All the cargo is carefully loaded according to the weight and balance calculations made by the operations staff. While the loading crew is busy on the inside of the aircraft, the mechanics are pouring over the outside of the DC-3 to ensure that the aircraft is safe and ready for flight. Many of the MFI pilots are also airframe and power plant mechanics. We also have maintenance specialists who oversee the maintenance procedures and ensure that all of the aircraft inspections are accomplished. Next, our aircraft are fueled using the calculations made by the flight crew. The preparation is over. The maintenance is complete. The cargo and mail are loaded. The MFI team has signed off on the next day's flight. Flight day has arrived. Those who were office workers and cargo handlers yesterday are now pilots dressed for the day and preparing for the long flight to the mission field. For several weeks, work teams and the missionary families have been planning and praying for this day. The teams are ushered through the warehouse so we can weigh them and their baggage. As they wait in the MFI lobby, the pilots and volunteers load their baggage onto the DC-3. Within minutes, the passengers are headed toward the awaiting airplane. Once the DC-3 is at its cruising altitude, the MFI flight crew begin to serve the passengers. Up front, the pilots are busy with the progress of the airplane. Soon, the mountains of Haiti come into view. In a few minutes, the excitement of going on a mission trip will become a reality for the mission work teams on board our aircraft. After the passengers are walked through the terminal building and processed through immigration, it is time to unload the aircraft and prepare it for a long flight home. In a little over three hours, the MFI DC-3 will line up on the final approach to the Treasure Coast International Airport in Fort Pierce, Florida. A smooth landing and a quick tour through the U.S. Customs Facility and the day is over. Tomorrow, we start the entire process over again to be a blessing to the mission communities that we serve. The MFI board, staff, and volunteers would like to thank each of you for partnering with us. Your prayers and financial support 
Help us stand in the gap for missionaries by transporting life-saving supplies and the hope of the gospel.